Windows are still boarded up nearly a week after riots and looting first started in downtown Madison. Our Gabriella Becerra shows us how the vandalism is weighing heavily on one group in the community. For most of us, the graffiti around Capitol Square is an unusual sight to see. But for veterans, we share the pain that our country is right now. It's difficult to see one particular building vandalized. Veterans, when they took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, it's to, against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And right now, injustice is an enemy that we have in our country. Secretary of the Wisconsin Department of Veterans Affairs, Mary Kolar, says the Wisconsin Veterans Museum holds centuries of moments, especially moments of change following injustice and unrest. Their stories of their service in the military, but also of how they were treated afterwards. We have people of color who have risked their lives, served to our country, and when they came home, they were not given the respect that was due to them particularly as a human being, but also as a veteran. While graffiti is the extent of the vandalism to the building. No one's winning at this point. We're all in this together. Kolar says the real issue at hand is uniting the country. We're still fighting to keep this country together as veterans and again as neighbors. Let's win together with everyone, with the justice for all that we have fought for in our support and defense of our Constitution and our country. I'm Gabriella Becerra, News 3 Now. The museum building is not owned by the state. Directors are working with the landlord on cleanup. It is partially funded by the state and also through donations. As